Hello, boys and girls. My name is Larry. Today, we will study Brain Bank Science Book 16. Let's read the title of this book together. What's the difference? The author is Vanessa Rhodes. Difference. In Korean, this word is 다른전. 다른전. Another good word to know in this book is similar. Similar is almost the same. In Korean, similar means 비슷한. 비슷한. Let's look at these two pictures. What is different? This guy is bigger. This one has bigger eyes. How about their skin? This looks shiny. This one looks bumpy. So in this book, we will compare two different animals. Let's get started. Look at this. This is a frog. Do you know where frogs live? Do they live in trees? Some. Do you know where this frog lives? Does he live in a house? No. This frog lives in the water. Do you know how I know? Look at his feet. He has web feet. What does he use these web feet for? For swimming. That's how I know he lives in the water. Let's look at the next page. Here we have two different creatures. This one is a butterfly. Can you say butterfly? Very good. This one is a moth. Can you say moth? Moth. Very good. This one has blue colors. What color is this? Orange. Very good. Now, let's look at them more closely. This butterfly, his wings are closed. Closed wings. These are called feelers. Maybe your feelers are your hands. We use our hands to touch. Butterflies use this to feel around. Look at this here. Wow! That's a very long tongue. This is my tongue. Is your tongue this long? I don't think so. Let's read together. Butterflies fly by day. Do they fly at nighttime when it's dark? No. They fly during the daytime when you're at school. Their feelers have knobs. Right here. This is what we call a knob. And they rest with their wings closed. So when a butterfly sits on a flower, their wings will be closed. Open, closed. Let's look at the moth more closely. Wow! Look at these feelers. They are different. Do you remember what the butterfly's feelers look like? They were long and they had a knob at the end. Are these the same or different? Very good. These are different. They look like leaves or feathers. Very different. And here the wings are open. When a moth is sitting on a flower or some other place, their wings are open. For a butterfly, they're closed. Are you ready to read? Here we go. Moths 
fly at night. Maybe when you are sleeping, moths are flying around. Their feelers are feathery. We're describing what they look like. It looks like a feather. They rest with their wings open. Moths have their wings open, butterflies closed. What's the same? They can both curl their tongue. Wow! Can you curl your tongue? I can't. They both drink nectar. Nectar is a very sweet juice that comes from, or liquid, that comes from the flower. And they are both insects. We're going to learn a little bit later about insects. Let's continue to the next page. Here we have a frog and a toad. Are they the same? No. Are they different? Yes. Let's look at the differences. Hmm. Wow. His skin looks wet. His looks dry. Who has bigger eyes? He has bigger eyes. Their eye color is different. Look at their legs. They are different too. Wow. Let's read more about the frog and the toad. Do you have your reading glasses on? Most frogs have wet skin. Very good. It is smooth. They have long back legs. So his skin is wet. Maybe because he likes to live in the water. It is smooth, not rough. It is smooth. If you touch it, it will feel very smooth, maybe like glass. They have long back legs. Look, wow, goes all the way around and bends. Why do you think they have long back legs? Maybe so they can jump very high. Maybe so they can use it for swimming in the water. Let's look at the toad. Wow, this guy is big. He looks similar, but he is different than the frog. Let's read about the toad. Most toads have dry skin. What does the frog have? Very good. The frog has wet skin. It is bumpy. Bumpy, bumpy. Oh, many bumps all over. Look at that. Hmm. Did the frog have bumpy skin? No. The frog had smooth skin. Toads, they have short back legs. Right here. That's not as big as the frog. Who do you think can jump higher? Maybe the frog. He has longer back legs. The toad, short back legs. Maybe I have longer legs than you. And you have shorter legs than me. But let's look at the what's similar or the same with the frog and the toad. They both have a long, sticky tongue. Do you remember the sticky tongue? Catching for food. They both have a long, sticky tongue for catching food. That means their tongue comes out of their mouth. And what do they catch? Pizza? No. Kimbap? No. They catch insects and they eat them. Can you stick your tongue out to catch food? I don't think so. 
and they are both amphibians. This is a very good word to know. Amphibians means they can live in both water or on land. Amphi, right here, means both. So frogs and toads live on both land and in water. Well, that's it for part one. I will see you very shortly for part two. We'll learn more about animals.